Hey guys, Todd here. Welcome back to TW Home Show. Got another video for you here. And today, what arrived was our RV dining dinette booth set. Came on tractor trailer truck all the way from California. Nice chocolate leather, they call this. Seems very durable. I'm excited to get it installed. In fact, I brought the RV to us, to our home headquarters. Let's go take a look. I was real down with no bell out on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. But I rose up from the ground, just like I was real bound. All the odds were against me. So I picked up the page, and now I'm in the rage. Give me some space. I'm a movement, and I ain't losing. So guys, this is where we're gonna install the dinette boot set. Right in this area right here. Right behind the driver's seat. Hopefully I measured correctly. And then we'll have our couch right after the dinette boot set. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the next morning and I did get that booth installed last night. I say installed, I got it anchored, screwed in to the floorboard there and we're all set. I want to show you how I did that in the light today because it was real dark when I was doing that last night and I wanted to explain it to you in case any of you guys are wanting to install any type of thing to the floor of your RV and so you'll have all the answers. So let's take a look in here. There we go. Our missing piece of furniture is back. And it's looking better than ever. I like it. It's a nice quality leather. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really thick. It feels thick, durable. And the cushions also, the cushions are great. They don't give that much, but they're comfortable. Especially these back parts right here, when you lean your back up against that and use it like as an ottoman, it's really comfortable. Okay guys, it's got this nice long drawer that you can pull out. I'm impressed with all the storage that they give you down below here on both sides, both ends. And I want to show you something. If you pull this drawer out by releasing the levers here, the drawer will come out 
out like that. And I'm going to get you down here and show you where we anchored these booth pieces here. It's got a frame down here. And right past the frame, there's little ears right here. One back there on all four corners. One right there. So those, I used some wood screws and I used screw lengths with washers on them that were only gonna go into the floor about three quarters of an inch. I made it a rule for me. I wasn't gonna go past three quarters of an inch because I think you've got probably maybe an inch and a half, two inches before you would penetrate the bottom of the slide. So I didn't want to take a chance. So I made my max length into the floor at three quarters of an inch and that was good. I was safe with that. Now another thing on this booth, this section lifts up and pulls out just like that. And this midsection here is anchored down with some screws and washers all along the bottom there. And I use toggle bolts to hook, connect the whole unit together and sandwich it together so that the tabletop stays on these pads right here when we put, put that down into a bed. Or you can lay like this. All right, guys, I got the new pedestal in. This is a different design than the pneumatic design that would uh, push down, straight down with the table because we have the lip back here of this cushion. We can't make it past here by pushing it down. So this one, uh, I got to find the center in here to anchor this to the floor with uh, six screws. It does have this pull pin here on the side with this knob right here. Pull it out and then you can... Uh, go down to whatever height, but that was the highest level right there. Right about there. Now, if you want to take the tabletop off, there's a button right here, at the, right underneath this plate here that holds the tabletop. Press that in and this will remove the tabletop. With that button right there. Release the tabletop and then it clicks back in. And this part, you press the button down here on the bottom plate and that will release so you can unscrew this uh, pedestal post. And then you can take the table out and then put the tabletop uh, slide it in here to make it into a bed. So guys, first I'm going to find my center on the floor here in between the two booth ends and a good uh, distance from here so you're not hitting your knees when you slide back around here. So let me do that next. All right guys, I got the post plate mounted to the floor. Pretty good, nice and solid now. Only thing that shakes a little bit is the post that screws into the plate, but the plate is very solid. Three quarter inch screws into the floor board here and no issues, I did retract the slide. Look underneath, I can't see the screws coming out from underneath, so we're good to go on that. Now I've got to center in our bottom, or our top plate, mount it, screw it into our tabletop, and I've got some three quarter inch screws that will go into here. This is about an inch, counting, including this bracket uh, lip here. So we have a quarter inch to spare before we were to penetrate all the way through. So three quarter inch screws will work in this. I'm just gonna find the center here now and mount that plate. All right guys, we're all done. I don't know if you can see me. All right, I wanted to shine it down, uh, aim the camera at the table right now, just so you can see it. You do have clearance. It does, you, your knees will hit if you have long knees, long legs like I do a little bit, but you can make yourself around. This tabletop will spin to help you get in and out if you need it. And the post 
screws into place. Now it is a little wobbly. It's only it's gonna it's only gonna be as sturdy as this post system down below, and it's just in a threaded, probably about a one inch thread post hole uh, on the bottom plate. So, but to eat on here and stuff, it's gonna be terrific. It's gonna serve its purpose, and I can hear you guys right now saying, "But Todd." I challenge you to take this apart and turn it into a bed, a day bed. Okay, challenge accepted. I'll take it on. So, press the button underneath here. Lift off our tabletop. Our brackets below it are right underneath there. Unscrew this post. The pedestal post. We could store in the drawers down here. Take your tabletop, slide that in here, grab your extra cushion, put that on here. And guys, we just made a day bed within a matter of seconds. Less than a minute, I think that took. So guys, I know what you're thinking. Uh, the material on that booth, dinette booth, looks nice. It does look rich. And if you take a good close look at it, you see the texture in it. Very durable looking and a durable feel. And you're probably asking, Todd, you got mixed match furniture now? I know we do. Um, I want to keep that set for a while because it's working great. Nice motorized electronic switches on it and reclining features but what we plan on doing eventually to make it a little bit more blended in is going with the same material as the dinette booth here and getting that uh, done on our captain's chairs on the front passenger and driver's seat they're peeling as you can see not a very good quality leather there so if I could get that durable leather uh, done on, on these seats here that's going to be the way to go and that's how i want to go probably within the next year we'll get those ordered up as well but guys right now i'm enjoying the dinette booth hope you guys like the video hope it helped you out if you have an rv and you're looking to do some modifications whether it's to know what size screws to use or whatever information i was able to give you thumbs up Guys, thank you for joining me in another one of my videos, and I'll see you on the next one.